Yeah. Thank you. Yes, my name is Martin Gwadia, uh, heading the uh, CADA program in the Nepal Agency. And we are working on supporting member states across the continent in the implementation of CADA. Yes, indeed. And uh, when you look at uh, agriculture today, one issue that is uh, very important is elements related to transformation. Important in the sense that uh, it was an issue in 2003, but it's more an issue now because we do know that when we talk about 6%, we're talking about, yes, increasing uh, agriculture productivity by, by that margin. But we also now know how actually it relates to transformation of the agricultural systems very broadly and comprehensively. Whether you're looking at policies, you're looking at institutional capacity, you're looking at organizations, and indeed elements that will enable us to deliver the 6% in a very sustainable way and also in the most viable in terms of value for money. So when you come to SADC region, the first thing is indeed the issue around capacity. Uh, from human uh, capital development, science and technology, to actual skills on the floor of business, from the farmers themselves in terms of skills and competences, for uh, uh, viable production systems, but also agribusiness, uh, agro-industry uh, skills. So that is one element, this issue of capacity. The second element is the policies. And, and it goes from very basic policies at the grassroots level uh, that don't just support and uh, catalyze production, but very quickly actually looks at uh, production, looks at uh, value addition in one space. It's not about one is more important than the other or comes after the other, but it becomes a conversation that is looking at uh, the whole agro industry linked to production in one swing. And, uh, and that is important both in terms of linking to, to the market's issue and linking to trade. And it's when you come to issue of market and trade that uh, again what SADC has to do is to very concretely actually walk the talk on the issue of regional integration, regional markets. A lot of the information is there, analysis has been done on the viability, on the importance and also on the, on the benefits uh, economically, socially. Uh, so the issue is both the political will to make the necessary decisions, necessary investments to actually achieve the levels of growth that we need uh, based on the, the, the regional integration uh, objectives. Yes, indeed, important question. The first thing is that, uh, uh, as actually is coming out from the dialogue, but yes, we will need a lot of new information, new data, new knowledge, but a lot of it exists already. Or let me put it this way, are, are we, we probably are not using as well, as productively, what we know already. So what I say in terms of takeaway from uh, for, for the participants is indeed how do we make the knowledge, as, as researchers meeting here, how do we make the knowledge we have, the information we have, the understanding we have, implementable? How do we move it out of our virtual world, out of our computers, into the policy design processes, into the program design processes, so that it can very immediately and directly beginning to have impact on the policies that we get, on the programs that we get. Well, I think, uh, as I said in the beginning, this has a lot of potential to be a real milestone in the process to, to channeling out how do we move forward based on the lessons from the last 10 years. And indeed, I think this workshop, uh, the level of discussions, the issues that are being discussed, uh, is actually very, very important in informing uh, the discussions that are going to continue, especially in 2014, which is African Union Year for Agriculture, Food Security and Nutrition, in, in ensuring that we launch out of ourselves uh, on a very solid foundation on what should we be doing, how should we be doing in the next 10 years, so that we come 2024, we are not in the same spot we are today, but can look back confidently and say, yes, we are making progress on the matters that matter for the continent, both in terms of agriculture itself, but also agriculture contribution to socioeconomic growth and inclusive development.